Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're with uh, Bob Heil, K9EID, uh, and uh, we're going to just talk with him a little bit today, and he's going to talk about some of his products and some of the things that he's been doing in his life and uh, tell us his story. So, Bob, right. in your life, why don't you All just right. hold the microphone? Here? I can you do know, that. You know how to hold it. I think I do, yeah. Tom, it's good to see you, and it's really nice to be on here today. Thanks for putting all this together. You're uh, you're really uh, uh, quite a guy at uh, Hamvents, and you've, everybody comes to see Tom, and, of course, we get to see all the videos that you do. And it's nice to share the Hamvention with those that couldn't be here with us. I've been coming here since 1959. I was just a young teenage kid and uh, came here at the invitation of Bob Drake to talk about my 128-element monster two meter array this was in 1959 and uh we really enjoyed all of the 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 wonderful workshops they did in those early years there were only 600 people here at uh, downtown at the biltmore if you can believe that 600 people then along about 1980 i started showing my product that i built uh, amateur radio audio products right here in the same spot and here we are all these years later. It's become now Audio Alley. And we've, uh, Julius Jones uh, joins us. Uh, Time Wave joins us. All the audio people are in this hallway, which we call Audio Alley. And uh, we're, we're very excited to have this location. It's a little quieter here. We don't have all the confusion of the big hall. And we get to show a lot of our products and demonstrate things. But the main thing for me is to get to see all of my friends and people that I've known, some of them for 40, 50 years uh, that, that come to Hamvention. So it's really a all home week for me to come and do that. So it, it, it's fun, and I hope that each and every one of you, if you have not been to Hamvention, please do. Uh, don't let anybody kid you. It's a wonderful place. Yeah, it's busy, and yeah, the building is uh, quite old, but it's okay. It's okay. You'll have a lot of fun here. And uh, Tom's showing you some of the sites here today, so check it out. One of the things we're doing this year, I've been working on a new project. This project's within about uh, two and a half years now, and we finally got it into production. And it's a, a noise-canceling headset. This is an active noise-canceling headset. There's a lot of these out here today. Most of them are overpriced, and they really are under uh, performers because they're eight and ten year old technology this is brand new technology and we're very excited about it it uh... it runs from one battery one little triple a it gives us about seventy hours of uh... of work in that little parcel then on the other side we have a volume control and a place to plug in your cable and an on and off switch for the active noise. Now what's really cool about it is I have a little rubber, rubber plug that unplugs and I have four boom as assemblies. They're all the same assembly however they have different elements for different radios and it's a very unique piece of material that we designed it'll stay anywhere you put it and it's very lightweight we have one for the ICOMs, the IC element. We have one with the broadcast element. Then we have the HC4 and the HC5. And these are all different booms for different purposes that plug into our usual adapters. But it's an incredible piece. The noise canceling is just the best. And uh, great for listening to music and stuff. Or unplug the cable and take it out and mow the lawn. <laughs> so you can get rid, of, uh, get rid of the world with a really good noise canceling headset. But then you put the boom on it and you're ready for action. So that's what's been happening this past couple of years and trying to get that all going. And, of course, working with my great friend Joe Walsh, I've, I've come up with a whole line of wonderful pro gear. Uh, microphones at Stevie Wonder, Joan Baez, Charlie Daniels, Jacob Dylan, Paul Rogers, on and on and on. These guys are now using Heil microphones on their stages, as well, of course, as Joe. And Joe is kind of my, my guiding mentor in these things, and it's kind of have him, it's nice to have him as a great friend and a uh, place to beta test my gear. So that's what's been happening in the, in the pro market. And, of course, for the ham radio market, the uh, inevitable gold line, and, of course, some of our other features of, 
the uh, ICM for the ICOMs. We're big about booms. I love booms because you can bring it down and talk and have your desk free. And when you're done, you push it away. Foot switches and all of that. Just good things. And, of course, microphones that work well under the circumstances of high noise and getting through pile-ups, or just to rag you with your buddies and be really, really nice in quality. So we try to make that all happen for you. And it all started with me for ham radio. I have no formal education. I learned it as a kid. Got my license when I was 15. My Harvey Wells TBS 50D. I'm still on the air with it, by the way. And uh, you want to join us on the 14292 Vintage Sideband Network every Sunday. 14292 at 2 o'clock Central, you'll hear some of the darndest things. It's all the ancient old gear, and I still have a lot of my stuff that I've kept all these years, and I keep it restored and going. That's the fun part of ham radio for me is to operate some of those old pieces of gear and make it all work well. And uh, it's what I learned in building all that stuff and using that as a child. I turned that into an education, which has brought me to where we are today so that's why I give so much back to the ham radio community because it's it's just been wonderful for me. I hope that we get to meet face to face someday. Uh, we're around uh, email. I get a lot of emails. I answer each and every one that I receive. Uh, Bob at HeilSound.com and of course HeilSound.com is our website. So please stay in touch and anything I can help you with, let me know. And please support Tom and all of his efforts. This is a wonderful thing these guys do and they give of their week or two <laughs> to get this all together and come here to Dayton. So 7-3 uh, for now. We'll see you on the air. Have fun and um, keep those radios a blaring and we'll be there to try to hear you. A little high, a little low, but we'll catch up with you somewhere. This is Bob Heil, K9EID from Hanvention 09.